uh, hey there all the techies all the coders out there see you guys in a video coder and today we'll be seeing something something which is known as uh, object detection uh, for this purpose we'll be using deep learning so it, it is um, you can say an outlier video from the previous videos the previous coursework which was which was the machine learning uh, a playlist of machine learning uh, tutorials so this is something this is a project which i'm working currently on and uh, in this video we'll be talking about uh, that only so for doing this purpose for using this object detection i'm using the mobile net object detection module uh, so we'll be seeing what is mobile net uh, first of all i'll uh, t talk a little bit about object detection so object detection has a wide range of uses a wide range of applications all over like you can have um, like a millions of uses a tons of uses of uh, object detection you can uh, do that like kind of uh, self driving cars you can use in you can use in in, in do drone image processing you can you can have like exceptional cases of uh, of the of this thing right over there right over here so uh, in this in this image you can see like it it, it is detecting person with 99.95% accuracy a horse a dog with a dog with like 89% accuracy so 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 that's that's the purpose of object detection airplane then we have like person detection so we can have so so here i'm um, i'm having the model based on, uh, on only these much classes so here it is in the classes um, the, this model is based only on these much classes but you can train a model on uh, like different uh, criterias in deep learning which we have like train uh, the model on different classes so you can do that so uh, first thing first we will be talking about the object detection so i'll be going through all all the code written over here and then uh, we'll be implementing we'll be implementing this on a video also so first of all first of all over here uh, what we have is we have all the libraries you can uh, check out over there you can check out the uh, description of the libraries the official documentation or you can see over here so numpy numpy is an array library which we'll be using a lot in data science and uh, machine learning work import cv2 cv2 is uh, open cv open cv is used for uh, loading the images and all of that uh, stuff we'll be talking about all of this later in this video matplotlib to show our images im utils for uh, like multi threading processing and all that stuff um, time pil pillow all of this okay okay so uh, here we have here we load the model here we lo load the model from cafe uh, so cafe is something um, like it's 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 another library it's it's not not a library you can say it's basically a framework kind of thing uh, like tensorflow uh, tensorflow is a library in python in python only which is created by google which is the main main library for deep learning um so same same we have uh, cafe uh, and in this we uh, in, in in cafe we are loading the mobile net uh, like text i'll be going through that text also mobile net text and the model so we'll be deploying the model also so the text over here in the cafe text it was the it was basic architecture of our convolutional neural network model so at the back end at the, at the back of the mobile net we have this uh, we have this 10 layered 10 layered convolutional neural net uh, so in in, in uh, so so we have the input data we have the input data we have the input shape the dimensions of the data is 300 cross 300 which is 300 pixels cross 300 pixels Uh, then we have the first layer, which is the convolutional layer, with 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 with. Uh, so we are uh, not not using any. Uh, I think we are using uh, yeah. So we are using an activation function, which is the ReLU activation function. In like all of the ten layer layers, we are using the same activation function, um, which is ReLU uh, rectified uh, rectified linear unit. We we are using that. so we will be studying this this thing in a lot of detail in further videos but uh, as far as uh, as far as this project is concerned just see this thing just like uh, try to grasp right so uh, in in all the 10 layers we'll be using this thing we'll be using the same function over there and now here we load this thing we load the we load the text we load the model and now we are uh ready to start okay so classes we have these much classes like background airplane bicycle we'll be uh, we'll be detecting these these many uh, things over here then we have then we have uh, the then we have our function which is the object object detection function which which will which will do the do do, do all processing all right 
so we load the image we load the we load the image we load the height and width to make a rectangular box like uh, like this we'll, we'll be using that later um, but we load that we load that over here we load the model so cv2 cv2 uh, is the open cv then uh, under open cv we have dnn dnn is deep neural network then blob from image which is again so one thing which is which comes very handy while uh, you know reading a code or re or uh, reviewing the code is shift and tap so you can have this thing uh, like sh you you can and you can press shift and then tab and then uh, have this uh, a description of that library or that uh, function in the library right so uh, you you can read about blob from image right over here but it's like it's not that important okay so cv2 we are resizing the image we are resizing the image in 300 cross 300 pixels and then there are all of those parameters which which are needed to pass uh, then 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 we have the predictions then we uh, use the predictions yeah detection so net dot forward so it is a fee for network and then we use all the detections we have the detections and now what we'll be doing is we have the detections and the probability so if uh, so like here if the dog if it, if it is detecting a dog with in 18 in 89.2% 0.2% accuracy it will be giving us us both the parameters right so uh, we are checking the confidence if it is greater than 0.6% uh, 0.60% which is 60% accuracy then only we will be um, putting a box around it otherwise we won't be detecting it as the object right so we can we can play around this uh, confidence we can play around this um, uh, like uh, data set uh, the, we can play around this confidence level to tweak our model um, then we have the detections we'll we'll uh, make a box we'll ma make a box of this uh, detection model and then uh, like uh, we can have we can make a rectangle we can define the colors and all of that stuff and then put the text in the form of uh, font Hershey simplex and then we can return the image so here what we are doing is we are reading the image which is in the test images slash sample person so this is this is the sample image which we are having uh, then we apply the apply our model on that on that particular image then we are writing that that uh, that detections uh, that uh, that detections into result one dot jpg and we are opening that file using the pillar okay so uh, here's the here's the photo here's the uh, image uh, the resultant image with all the detections and all the probabilities of those detections then we are using python dot display which is again again uh, similar to pillow only but uh, we'll be using that we'll be using that then we have path dot globe uh, glob dot glob glob is another library uh, used for detecting the path uh, basically it will give us a sorted out path uh, of the images of the yeah images we are reading the images we are detecting again the same work over here we'll be uh, storing the all the images in results folder and the results file yep so these are the images and these are the results so here we have the results of all the images with proper detections person and like you can see we are detecting only person train bicycle we are taking some specific classes which we mentioned over here over here yep so we'll be de detecting that only over here and, and then there's my image with uh, it's showing me person with 99.79 percent accuracy but okay and uh, applying model on video so what i did over here was uh, something like uh, there, there was there was a date there was a data set of uh, around i think so so it's 1000 images so what we have over here is 1000 images so this is a video basically this this is not a video this is a, like frames so uh, and if we if we uh, if we uh, open it uh, if we open it in like uh, if you open it uh, regularly we can have this as a video yep right over here so so one thing what we'll be doing is we'll be opening the file uh, op opening all the images in a for loop like uh, one after the other uh, in a in a form of an uh, video in a form of a video and uh, then ultimately we we'll, we'll, we'll be applying our detection model okay so i'll uh, okay, so I should compile all of the code again once again and it will take a bit of time 
okay okay so it is done over there done 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 yep yep and it will start yep so it has started this so you can see ourselves over here so what it is doing is it is uh, like detecting frames by frame and showing us in a form of a video so you won't like uh, you, you can't say that these are images running in a loop these are basically this is uh, appearing as a video yep so I won't be uh, processing the whole of the uh, video we can do it some sometime later so we'll be quitting this thing yep kernel has died that's okay that's completely fine uh, also I have something on uh, on uh, uh, we will be implementing this thing so uh, currently what we have done is we have implemented our model on an, on, a, on a stationary image on one image then on a set of images and now we'll be detecting on uh, on a video so we have so I have this skyfall opening scene uh, video you can see also over here You can see this. So this is the video, and uh, we'll be uh, we'll be applying our model on this video. Okay, so it's like a two minute video, and I'll be showing only a little part of it. Okay, and um, just to make you guys aware about what all deep learning is about and what all uh, my model is doing. Okay, yep. So uh, yep, Python, and then video. Dot py. So video. Dot py. The, the same code video.py has so this is the video uh, the file video.py same code only the, a little bit change in uh, loading the image lo loading the video and starting and uh, like uh, you know using uh, OpenCV to make you guys see the video okay okay so let's have this up and running uh, it will come over here yep it is started so you can see like it is detecting something it is uh, detecting false positives also it is uh, I think almost accuracy was around 85 percent according to me uh, so it is detecting person it is detecting uh, 13 classes currently but uh, you can extend that you can extend that based on your model based on the computation power you have if you have GPU you can like use more uh, stuff so you can have this thing you can see yourselves what uh, all is happening so uh, here what what it is using is a is, is a dcnn which is a deep convolutional neural network um, at the back end of the mobile net um, this thing is using uh, this thing is uh, being implemented which is a dcnn one thing which i like the most about uh, which is the state of the art uh, convolutional neural networks is yolo yolo is uh, something which is, is uh, like currently in development uh, this is also in development but still the development is not, uh, not that fast YOLO is developing at a much much faster pace and that's something which is very cool so I, I'll be making another video when I complete that project um, which is the darknet YOLO detection uh, it, it detects much faster and much accurate so okay, in the in the back scene uh, in the last scene you saw that the computer was detected was being detected as a chair so that's a false positive right that should not be the case uh, even if the accuracy is around like 70% that should not be the case right so and that's uh, and that also it, it's not that fast like it should it should have detected all of these things in the surrounding also and that is what uh, you know YOLO, YOLO is very good at so it would ha it should have detected these chairs but it is not detecting so that's that's something which is inaccurate or you can say a flaw uh, in the code right so i think i'll be stopping the video over here only okay yep quit so i have quit the kernel okay and uh, here all the approximations and all of that the, that there's a uh, so it is loading frame by frame now, right so we are having a person we have we were having person 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 like uh, motorbike so we can have all the all of that stuff so that's all for this video i was it was it was just an introductory for uh, you guys like a motivation for what is deep learning all about because we'll be covering this topic sooner or later like in around uh, next next video or uh, i think like after 10 videos 
but uh, still but still uh, you, you you guys should should have knowledge about all this stuff so that's all for this video guys hope to see you in next video uh, thanks please subscribe my page and please follow me on instagram um this is your this was your innovative, yours innovative kodo thank you and have a good day